Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on channel. And if you have missed my previous videos, you can find link in the description box. In this video, you will learn what is PNID drawing and how to read PNID drawing. First of all, what is PNID drawing? A piping and instrumentation diagram is a visual representation of a process system that includes the piping, vessels, control valves, instrumentation, and other process components and equipment in the system. In other words, it is a diagram which shows the interconnection of process equipment and the instrumentation used to control process. The symbols contained in PNID represent equipment such as actuators, sensors and controllers. Process tools such as valves, instruments and pipelines are identified by code. The codes are based on the size, type of fluid being drained, type of pipe connection such as using bolt or flang, and the status of the valve such as normally close or normally open. Now, how to read PNID drawing. In order to understand P and ID drawing, we need to understand piping or connection line first. As you can see from the table that, these are the few common piping or connection lines, which is used in P and ID drawing. For example, any electrical signal is represented by dotted line. And solid line represents straight line pipe. Now, let's go to understand different symbols. In this symbol, first letter represents parameters that are being controlled or monitored. For example, it may be flow, level, temperature, or pressure. In this example, it is level. Next letter indicates types of control device being used for measurement. For example, it may be transmitter, valve, or controller. In this example, it is transmitter. Bottom number is logical numerator. And it is used for identification of equipment. In this example, it is number 3. Circle with no line indicates that, level transmitter number 003 is mounted in the field area. Logical numerator or numbered is very useful to identify equipment, when diagram has same equipment more than one. Let's have a look in this example. As you can see, this example has two flow indicator controller. So, number will help you to identify, which is FIC number 1, and which is FIC number 2. Same thing with flow indicator transmitter. Number will help you to identify, which is FIT number 1, and which is FIT number 2. Let's take one more example. In this example, flow. Indicator. Transmitter. Numbered 003 is mounted in the field area. Here is the table of ISA codes for first letter. And these are the ISA codes for last two letters. You can find any codes from this table for P and ID drawing. Now, how to identify instrument location from symbol. As you can see from the table that, circle with no line indicates that, instrument is mounted in the field area. And circle with dotted line indicates that, instrument is mounted in control room. Lastly, circle with solid line indicates that, instrument is not directly accessible. Now, let's try to read this P and ID drawing. Here, flow element such as orifice plate is connected with flow indicator transmitter numbered 001. This flow indicator transmitter 001 is mounted in the field area. And it is connected with flow indicator controller numbered 001. Dotted line indicates that, it is connected by electrical signal line. And flow indicator controller numbered 001 is connected with flow valve numbered 001. In addition to this, 
Flow indicator controller numbered 001 is also connected with ratio controller. And ratio controller is in DCS or in PLC. Now, let's go to other side. Here, M indicates that, flow element is electromagnetic type. Or we can say that, electromagnetic flow sensor is connected with flow indicator transmitter numbered 002. And flow indicator transmitter numbered 002 is connected with flow indicator controller numbered 002. And dotted line between these two devices indicates that, electrical signal line is being used to connect these devices. As we can see, flow indicator controller number 002 is connected with I2P converter. It is milliampere to pressure converter. And output of I2P converter is connected to control valve number 2 by using pneumatic line. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please give me your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you do not want to miss this type informative video, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification.